behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So... Does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but... You know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. 
As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Gross. Hey, old. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out.
whistle. These are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Guys, we got to get untied. Right now. knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Fuck! Motherfucker! 
fuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. to wait and see what they want to do with us. got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just... Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? 
Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, so. What a cork in it. <laughs> Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. It's gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big fool. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. still alive things could have been quite different <sighs> K 
kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! is a floating death trap. Sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Do 
these dickheads want with us. Ah, oh, damn! <laughs> Son, il y a une porte ici. OK. All of you. Into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. fucking place. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, we gotta stay sharp and keep our eyes out for the right moment. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm, well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Should we expect an itemized bill for all these, uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a year. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. Hmm. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. Look what I 
found over here. Why this was ripped off. What do you think this ship was? Alex, I'm really scared. Get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a bit like this would go. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it.
I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. <sighs> Shit. You're right. The mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? Spooky. God, I 
I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound? This place is fucking massive.
Ok, qui est là Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. God, why do I need to see this now? been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. Jesus! Oh God! 
Alex? What is it? Nothing. You don't want to know. What? What does that mean? Why aren't you telling me? Hey! According to this, today's beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. this place. I'm thinking we gotta go through here. What was that? This isn't right. Okay, no. 
This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of your toot sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Get out of here. Yes, maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and... then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Bam. What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? Any medicine we find in gears. Conrad, take a couple of these. Hey, where do you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion?
Maybe just get him some air. Conrad! What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. have gone on ahead. Why would I tell you? 